guys, it's Lego Ryan back with another video, and today I'll be reviewing set number 708035, Rex's Rex Explorer. Of course, this set is part of the Lego Movie 2 line, as you can see. Here's the box, and it's 9 plus. And, um, here's the name. We got 1,187 pieces. We've got two figures and two raptors. And here's the back. I can fit it because this box is huge. Just picked it up yet, like two days ago. And as you can see, here's Rex and Emmett. And yeah, let's get on to the minifigures. Alright, so here's our first minifigure, Rex Danger Vest. My favorite character from the Lego like, Movie 2. Now, this video will be spoiler free. So you guys don't have to um, see, hear spoilers and stuff. So here's Rex. He's um, he's a galaxy defending archaeologist, a cowboy, and a raptor trainer. As you hear, um, like I like how there's um, you can see like how there's like um, just that. Right? I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. There's like there's print. Oh yeah, um, double printing, double printing. Sorry, on here like you can see like there's like straps, but like kind of like a shiny vest, dark blue, pretty cool. Um. His feet got like um some got some printing there like some boots or something uh, and like on the back you see like the R it's, it's a reoccurring thing for Rex and um he has a new hair mold pretty cool I like it and um, on the back he has a meat like an angry expression like I don't know like stub his toe when he wants to destroy something. Let me just put this back on. And we'll move on to Emmett. As you can tell, Emmett is the main character of the Lego Movie 2. Wow, surprise, surprise. And yeah, this is Emmett. He has like some, this is, he has a new, well, I wouldn't say new exactly, because this is like his, um, oh, I forgot. Um, but he has, like, scratching on his chest for his vest. On the back, he has some scratching, too. Same hair. He has a new face. Kind of like a winking face. And if we twist, if we take his hair off, it's the same hair. Um, he has, a he has like, a scared... He, he's scared the plantimals. Um, and he has his flashlight here. All right. Right here are two plantimals, and plantimals are native to the planet that they're on. Don't know the name of it. I don't think they say it in the movie, but yeah, they're native to it. And we'll start with this guy. So I use like a, I don't know what he is supposed to be, but I like the the parts. They make it look very great. Like this tube thing in pink is pretty good. And I've also got the leaves in orange. Pretty cool. Just, yeah. Now we're moving on to the big one. This one doesn't look like it has legs. It's like in the ground. And um, as you can see, it has a branch sticking out with um, kind of like a tree with, with a very, very nice translucent headpiece. This was a great piece. I, I love this piece. And we got more of that orange leaves. We got some of these like sparkly bricks like they're transparent and they're like they have sparkles on them that that's cool um and this one actually has a function so you can see i'm just gonna take emmet see if this can work you see, press down and then like his arms come up and then they're supposed to like if you press down they're supposed to like capture them and yeah that's pretty much the plantimals only thing I guess I could say that's bad about them is like, nah, actually not really. Like maybe, like this guy, he he kind of looks weird. Like he has like an expression on his face. But yeah, those are the plantimals. On to the raptors. All right, we are on to the raptors. These are the same molds as the raptors from Jurassic World, but as you can tell, they are in completely different colors. And and um, so let's just take this one. I think this is Ripley, I'm not sure. He named them all. Um, Rex named them all, so. Um, got standard. 
Well, you can move the feet. You can't move the tail. You can open or close the jaw. Head goes around and stuff. You can move the arms. And they actually have some great functions in this set, and which we'll go on to now. And here is the reason why this set is $120. We have the Rex Explorer. And in the movie, Emmett and Rex use this to travel to the planet where these guys are. And this is surprising because this is not piloted by Rex or Emmett. You guessed it, the Raptors pilot. Yeah. We will put the Raptors in after we take an overlook of the build. So, just building it, this thing was like, this thing is impressive. Like, all the detail they put in this thing. Um, like, all the slanted pieces. And even the engines, they can even, like, they, they move pretty good. Like, I'll just do an overview of the engines. Pretty nice. They can do a whole spin around. They can go up. They can go down. They can go sideways, even. So, this is pretty great. We also have... I'll get into the functions later. We also got some really nice um, machine guns, it looks like. They can move up and down on the front. Um, we got some more up here. And, yeah, what I can say about this build is it's pretty, really nice. As you can tell, I've said it already. Um, it's detailed, like... Just, when I was building this, it, sure, it took a long time, but, like, the builds were pretty impressive. So now, we will get on to the functions. But as I said, um, earlier, there are the Raptor pilots. So we will put the Raptor pilots in. So we'll take this blue-eyed horn, not to be confused with blue from Jurassic World, and we put him on the top deck. We open this little slide up. And then you just jam them in there. Sorry, it did not mean to sound really weird. And then you close this up, and boom, you got the top pilot. Now, I don't really like how he's seated, because he likes to move a lot. But it works, and we'll, we'll talk about the top. This can actually open up, but it's like blocked off by this. But if you can see in there, there is... A sticker of the raptors that shows their legs moving. Well, it's to get in there and stuff. This also has some mounted guns. These ones can move not really good, but they're not even supposed to move. Well, they're supposed to be guns. And then we got flick fire missiles on, I mean, stud shooters, I'm sorry, on either and each side. So I'm just gonna aim at you, Venom, sorry. Boom. And that's a stud I lost. So yeah, Venom. Sorry about that. Um, I'll go retrieve that. And yeah. Valley G, I actually did it. Alright, now we will move on to the functions. And I'll tell you, this has a lot of functions that I love. Starting off here. Either door can open up on either side. Like this. And there's two seats. Let's get Emmett and Rex sitting there. Oops, sorry, Rex. Well, yeah, they can come out. Um, we got some ammo for some spring-loaded missiles. I think they're called that. I'm not sure. You can just fit them right there in their chair. Now we'll move on to the back. Like, the other side, sorry. This opens up. Like, as, as you can tell, there's, like, the green on the side. Pretty cool green. It's pretty separate. And boom, you got the weaponry. So we got this scanner thing of a bobber he uses in the movie. Um, so if that's I don't know if that's I'm sorry. Um, also we got this doohickey stud shooter. We also got this gun, which is also oh, which is also a stud shooter, and they all fit inside minifigure hands. And we also have a skateboard on this side. Used for the raptor. So let's just get him out of here. Because he's in, he's intended to use it. Because he's a he's a cool he's a cool guy. If I can actually fit him. Alright, there he is. On his awesome skateboard thing. 
All right. Um. So for your other raptor, hello. Um, he can go in here. Um, we'll get to that later, like this function. But um, right now, there's like this little thing for this this green-eyed guy. I think this is Ripley. Ah. Um. All right. So you can you can take this off. It's on like two studs, I guess. And then you pull this bad boy out, which is actually a machine gun, machine gun, which has a stud shooter, which I didn't put in. And you take your raptor, and then this just it just fits on really nice. I'm gonna do it right now, and boom, he has a mounted turret, which is pretty awesome if I do so myself, because it goes up and down. Side to side, and it, you can you can like pose it any way you want. So yeah, and then moving on, um, we got more stud shooters at the front, and in the back, there's two phone. Well, there's two things in the back. This thing you can lift down, and pull this thing out, which is a container. You may think. There's something danger in it because there's a sticker on it. That's a that's a warning sign. But when you actually open it, Rex branded soda. Oh no, the Rex branded soda! Oh, I actually got it. All right. So here's the soda. The same top has been used for many sodas. First introduced in the Simpsons Fun Pack for Lego Dimensions, I I believe. But this um tube thing, like the bottom, is new with that. Awesome Rex sign. I'm gonna just put that back there. Sorry, I just have kind of a cold, I guess. And put this tile. See how there's like two tiles there. Put that one on, and then put this one on. When you put that back there, well, it's like it, you can slide it back in. And then there, these little locker pieces things, you can open them up. And surprise, surprise, studs, hurrah. Just put those back. And now we'll get it, be getting to the front. And here's the front without the Raptor, cause you could fit a Raptor in there. See, there's some headlights. Um, got some machine guns that go up and down, as I previously mentioned. Nice bumper sticker down here. I got some those spring-loaded missiles. I'll get to those right now, actually. Um, so there's like a little like lever. See this thing? Oh, let's move the engine. All right, this level, this lever thing. You could shoot stuff. It's like this plantable, and you just push up. I think. Yeah, and then you do that. You could do that with the other one. And to just put it back, you simply just push it in, if I can. It's kind of hard. All right. Um, so, I will put the raptor in. Thing. To put the gun simply back, you take it off the raptor. You put it like this. This, like, I don't know, like, deactivated mode. And you just drop it. And it just sits there. Take this part. And you stick it there. And. Good. Now, I'll get to the front. Alright, took me a little while, but the raptors are in. As you can see, this, this gun down here. And this guy up here. This guy is actually standing on something. Here are the guns. And this is the final feature, I think. You can pull this guy out, like so, and he's falling out. Hooray! Right, so he's in, and you can push these down, and then you put, pull this out, and you do it on the same side, and it becomes like kind of a fighter plane, I guess. And here's a better look at the printed. Well, not printed, sorry. Sticker. As you can see, it's the Rexplorer and the two Raptors that come in the set, if you'll focus. So, yeah. Um, 
fly around stud shooters. There's a grill piece for two grill pieces for decoration. Nothing in there. And you just flap these wings. You can put them any way you want, I guess. Like you can put them up like that, but I just like to do this because it's easier. Do that, and then you can stick them in. Sorry, it's it's hard holding it with a one with one hand. Just comes in, and boom, he's in. All right, my over th overall thoughts of the set. Beautiful design, if I do say so myself. A lot of posability and stuff. Um, something just fell? Yeah. Um, so overall, really good design. I love how they implemented the green. Stickering was pretty bad, though. A uh, little kind of. Um, now what else? Um, great function. I like all the functions. And if I did miss a function, comment me in the comment section below. And I do recommend you see the Lego Movie too. It was a pretty great movie. I saw it twice, as a matter of fact. And yeah, so that is set number seven seven zero eight three five Rex's Rex Explorer. See you guys. One more thing. We're close to two thousand boys. Expect a two thousand subscriber special.